Hello, this is Lucky Waldo, and this is a Zero K game. This is Saktoth versus Google Frog. Um, these players, if you've played the game at all, these players don't need any introduction. Both of them, developers, longtime players, some of the best players. Um, so we should see uh, some very, hopefully, creative, interesting games. At least I was promised they were interesting. We'll find out. So let's get started here. Um, Google Frog down here drops shield bots. Saktoth. His commander is still dropping. <laughs> That's kind of tough luck. Sometimes that happens. I think it's a little bit of a bug. And he's going vehicles. All right. Um, both players dropping their factories pretty much first thing because they're free and they warp in instantly. So you might as well just drop it. And go ahead and get used out of it. Google Frog with a little bit of a head start here. Sending out one bandit for scouting. Um, it's very good to get an early scout out, at least just one thing, just so you know what's going on, what they've chosen, whether they're going to do some kind of funky air cheese or not. So both of them just building up their economy. Google Frog going for the Windmills, which give better energy, but they're definitely a lot riskier because they die so easily. Whereas solars are a very nice, reliable energy output. Um, Google Frog has spread his units around the map yet already. Um, getting a good idea to whether or not anything's coming. He sees these scorchers here, so he knows there could be scorchers on the way. He also knows that Saktoth's gone vehicles and sack toughness he's gone shield bots so they'll have a little bit of an idea what to expect see if google frog has a way to respond to this he's making an outlaw which is definitely the ideal counter to scorchers bandits can do pretty well too but they are definitely cheaper and weaker so one or two bandits isn't going to do much Saktov looks like he's going to probably try to get up this ramp to see what kind of damage he can do in the base. Definitely, if this outlaw isn't built yet, he can definitely destroy most everything. Google Frog's bringing his commander back here to try to get into a position where his commander can help. At the same time, he's raiding, but that missile tower is taking care of those bandits pretty easily. So that outlaw is very close to being done, and it won't be obstructed by these features, but Saktoth's going to be able to do a lot of damage, splitting up his Scorchers. Loses two of them off. This killed all of Google Frog's windmills, though, so it's probably pretty worthwhile. It doesn't look like he's going to get that last Scorcher. That's going to make it out alive, which is always nice to try to... If you can do some damage and then pull right back out, that's always very nice. That outlaw's never going to catch up. It's like Google Frog wants to keep making... going to keep making outlaws. He's definitely low on resources uh, especially he's probably a little worried about energy lost another max that hurts that's not the same uh, I think I keep calling them gators they're scorchers they used to be called instigators like in TA so uh, I might get that mixed up a little bit gators or scorchers supposed to be scorchers I might call them gators Saktoth in a commanding position right now um, he's got this side covered with defenses. Probably he intends to keep his commander over here. This is where units are coming out. So he figures that since he will have units over here, he doesn't need to worry about um, covering with a light laser tower. Google Frog pushing out pretty aggressively with this outlaw. But of course he knows that if Saktoth has only gators out or scorchers, sorry, there I do it again, only has scorchers out, he really doesn't have to worry that much. A uh, little encounter here. That Scorcher can't do anything against the commander by itself. That goes down very quickly. Let's see. Saktoth now going out for an expand in all directions. Um, he, he feels pretty comfortable probably though. He has both of them defended. As long as Google Frog doesn't combine his Scorchers or combine his bandits, the Scorcher will be fine. It looks like Google is going to do exactly that though, come out with a few bandits here. He did see that it was just one Scorcher constructor. So now that he has that scouted, um, 
He's coming in with the three bandits, we'll, which will take care of that fine. Um, can't really do anything up north. I guess he's not looking to split his units, but to rather just do damage where he can to make up for that loss in the beginning. Saktoth's got a leveler out now. This will just eat, chew through bandits, um, especially if the bandits are grouped. Ooh, that was close. It's got uh, not very much range, so you definitely just keep avoiding it. Um, Google Frog looks kind of like he's looking to make a push up the ramp. Uh, pulling back a little bit. I wonder if he has sighted the commander. It is just a level zero commander. He could probably take that back. He's going for that next here. He might have seen the commander there. Definitely not knows that something is in the middle here. But with the two light laser towers, with all this defense and the commander, he's not going to be able to kill it too easily. Instead, he's looking. Looks like he's wisened up to the fact that Saktoth's kind of naked expanding on this side. Uh, Saktoth also taking out Google Frog's naked expansion on this side. So both of them trying to sneak in some expand, not getting away with it. The Saktoth's getting away with this expand for now. Google Frog looks like he really wants that commander. Both of them looking pretty well on the resources. Saktoth at about 18 metal per second. Google Frog at 11. Saktoth definitely has the resource advantage here. Google Frog's also energy stalling a bit. Um, if he can push right here and kill Saktoth's commander there, that'll make a big difference. That outlaw is doing a lot of damage to everything in a large AoE, but when directly targeted, it doesn't do so well. Google risks losing his commander right here. Uh oh, run away! Saktoth's commander wants to take him down and he's gonna pince him in with this. Yeah, Google Frog's commander is pretty much dead. There's nothing he can do against a Ravager there. Still going for the center expander now. He did have a lot of pressure on there. I don't know if he's going to be able to to keep the pressure on though. That's a lot of not a lot, but that's a pretty generous amount of reclaim. So six about a thousand metal in reclaim there. So if you let Saktoth just have that, that would really hurt. I guess most of that metal is coming from his commander. The Thug versus Outlaw is kind of weird. In general, assault units will beat riot units, but Thug versus Leveler is a little bit of a, an exception because the lever, Leveler AoE actually damages through the shield a bit. The AoE is stopped by the shield, but it's still the AoE itself goes through the shield even though the projectile is stopped. So in a way, it's a bit unique in the way it can do damage to the thug before the shield is down. Saktot getting a little greedy here. Um, he's not going to be able to keep that Ravager. No, no, he keeps it. He gets it out in time. And there, Leveler is just blasting those apart. Debris everywhere. And that's GG. That was a good game. Definitely that first rush with Scorchers was pretty brutal. Um, I guess that is the case of when you go windmills. The windmills are better, but you definitely have to expect that something's going to sneak in and kill them because they just die so much more easily. So that's the end of the game. Thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully more will follow.